All right, guys, we are uh, looking to do uh, furnace replacement for sure, possible full system swap uh, for the second story unit, which let me step back here just to show you where we're at. Uh, we're in the utility room in the basement. Uh, this area we won't need to cover the floors. However, all the area leading down here, finished basement, stairs, everything's going to need tarps, covered it. Uh, the unit is really pretty straightforward. We got a condensing unit uh, from Lennox, um, standard Lennox sizing. It's just below um, B width at 16 inches, uh, 47 inches tall, uh, 75,000 BTU two stage. Uh, it is a true two pipe. Uh, it's running two pipe all the way out. It doesn't have a concentric connection down there. It's two inch coming out of the furnace. We'll just have to have a three inch connection. Tile that together. Uh, drains right in front of my foot here. Return uh, is an eight and a half by 26 and a half. Probably we'll need to bump that. Uh, if we do an 80,000 BTU, we'll bump that to a 10 by 26. Uh, if we end up doing a 60, we can keep it as it is. And there is about seven and a half inches to play with right now. Uh, probably going to eat up a little bit of that. The B-width furnace is going to take another inch and a half. Uh, so one way or the other, we may end up having to scoot that over. So a total of 92 inches from the return down to the floor. Uh, just follow the checklist on that one. Gas line shutoff coming in on the right. Electrical disconnect on the left, as you can see. Uh, no humidifier or drip lines attached to this unit. Those are all coming from the main floor furnace over here. And then as far as the coil goes, that's also um, 16 inches wide. Haven't seen the outdoor unit. It looks to be a two or two and a half ton. Line sets are running off this direction. Those would just need to be cut and flushed and pressure tested. Um, and then the uh, coil's running on a double 30. AC coil.